After I released episode 108, I realized there was one thing relating to the gradient mask that I didn't mention. I need to correct that. Let's go. Hi and welcome to episode 109 of Understanding Dark Table. So the one thing that I forgot to mention about the gradient mask is how to rotate it. Now, if you've watched my earlier videos, you already know, but just for the people who are new, the gradient mask also comes with this control line that runs perpendicular to the mask. It has a round circle on one end and an arrow head on the other. The round circle end always denotes the part of the mask that is 100% opaque, and the arrow head end denotes the end of the mask which is transparent. So you can view that at any time just by clicking on the toggle to see the mask. If you want to rotate this, simply grab the circle, left click and drag. Now frustratingly, the one thing Darktable does not offer is either a slider which shows you the degree of rotation for the mask, which would then allow you to dial in an exact value, or the ability to use a keyboard modifier, namely Alt, Control, or Shift, along with your left click and drag, to constrain the rotation to fixed increments. Now, almost every other piece of image editing software that I've ever used, Lightroom, Photoshop, GIMP, Affinity Photo, whatever, all offer that ability in some way, shape, or form, to set the angle of the gradient. To the best of my knowledge, there is no such feature for the gradient mask in Darktable. I don't know why, just how it is. I should put in a feature request. Anyway, like I said, you can left click on the circle and drag to swing the gradient mask around to whatever angle you want. Now, when your mouse is close to that circle, you'll find that the rotation is quite coarse. If you want a little bit finer control, move your mouse away from the circle whilst keeping your left mouse button clicked down. That will give you the ability to have finer control over the rotation of the mask. You still can't dial in an exact value, but at least you'll be able to get somewhere close to what you're aiming for. So, that was the last bit of the puzzle that I neglected to include in episode 108. I'm not going to go on to the intersection of multiple masks in this video because I want to just keep this separate. This is really just an addendum to episode 108. So I will leave it here for now and I will catch you in the next one.